Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about Borda count voting. So as far as I remember, Borda is another French, uh, but this time he's an engineer, uh, as far as I remember. Um, and he also lived around the French Revolution. Um, so it was an, uh, uh, you know, a couple hundred years ago. Um, so what he suggests is the following. Uh, given any, uh, uh, so the, the rule, the board account rule uh, works as follows. Given any preference profile, uh, give points to each alternative depending on how those alternatives are ranked. Give one point to those alternatives that are ranked one, two points for those alternatives that are ranked two, second, and then th three points for those alternatives that are ranked third, four points if there are alternatives that are ranked four, and so on, all right? And then sum the points each uh, alternative receives, uh, sum across all the voters, and then each alternative will have a point. These are going to, we are gonna call them board account. Uh, so the alternatives with the lower uh, points or the smaller points should be socially preferred two alternatives that have higher points. All right, that's how it works. So here I have the same example, which I used in the previous uh, 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 example uh, video. So let's suppose we have 30 uh, agents, 30 voters, 11 of them ranks X, Y, Z, nine ranks Y, Z, X, and the rest uh, rank these three alternatives as follows. So we have three alternatives, X, Y, and Z. So the question is, how, what is going to be the social ranking, social ranking between these three alternatives according to board account voting? So as I said, we give one point to the first ranked alternative, two point to the second ranked alternative, and three point uh, all the last alternatives. All right, so here I have X. So what, how many points X collects? Well. 11 people, 11 agents rank X as first. So therefore, 11 times X is gonna receive one point, all right? So 11 times uh, it's gonna get one point, all right? Uh, and 19 people rank X as the third alternative. So it's gonna receive three points for those 19 people. So 19 times it's going to receive three points. And hence, this is the total number of points X is going to receive. Uh, I hope I don't make any uh, simple, silly mistake, but, uh, well, I mean, if I do, uh, you know how to add and multiply them. Sometimes as I talk and do the calculations, I may make mistakes. Um, so this is 11 plus, this is uh, 9 times 3, uh, 27, and then, uh, so this is 57, so it's 68 total points for X. All right, what about Y? All right, so Y is ranked uh, as second for 11 plus 10 for 21 agents. So 21 times Y is gonna receive two points. And uh, Y is never ranked as third but Y is gonna receive one point from those nine people. So nine many times, it's Y is gonna receive one point. So therefore the total point for Y is gonna be 42 plus nine, which is 51. And then finally Z. Uh, Z becomes the third alternative uh, only for those 11 people. So 11 times it's gonna receive three points. Uh, Z is also ranked as second for those nine people. Uh, so nine many times it's going to receive two points and ten many times it's going to receive one point. So therefore, in total, it's going to be 33 plus 18 plus 10, which is uh, 48 plus 3, uh, 51 plus 10, 61. So the alternative with the lowest score should be ranked first. In this case, it's Y. And then the second lowest scored alternative, which is Z because its score is 61. And then the highest scored alternative, which is X, 
should be ranked last. So therefore, according to board account voting, if this is the social, um, sorry, preference profile of the agents, well then the social preferences should be as Y, Z and X as the last alternative, socially uh, least preferred alternative. Okay, so this is exactly how board account works. If I have more than three alternatives, that means necessarily we're going to give some four points, five points, depending on how many alternatives we have. And so the calculation is going to be slightly more complicated. If we have more waters, uh, voters or agents, again, our calculations are going to be a bit more uh, complicated. But nevertheless, this is exactly how the board account works. So. Um, as far as I know, um, although I should, um, you know, double check, um, the board account voting will never give us a paradox, all right? Um, which is true because always for any preference profile, it's going to give uh, some uh, a, a real number and the real numbers are always comparable. I mean, there's always a transitive relationship uh, between the uh, uh, real numbers. So therefore, yes, now I just double checked. Uh, 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 board count voting will never produce um, a Condorcet paradox, those cycles. So therefore, if you want to get rid of those um, you know, unwanted cycling situations, you better use con uh, board account. However, I can't say board account is the best voting rule in a sense that it has its own problems. So what is the problem with uh, Borda? Well, the problem, so I'm going to give another example just to point out the problem the Borda has. The problem is that excluding or including an irrelevant alternative could actually change the ranking of the alternatives. So. What do I mean by this? So let's say I have two alternatives, X and Y, and two agents, all right? I have agent A, I have agent B. I mean, this A is not the set of alternatives, okay? It's agent A, agent B. So it's a very simple scenario, two agents, and there are two alternatives, X and Y. A thinks X is better than Y, B thinks Y is better than uh, Z, I'm sorry, X. All right. So if this is the case, according to board account, what is the social ranking between X and Y? Well, um, I don't know if you can do the uh, so, uh, calculation social ranking, uh, but according to board account, X and Y should be indifferent. So I'm going to write them next to each other. So. Uh, which one is the best alternative? Both X and Y. Which one is the worst alternative? Uh, well, both. So that there is socially tie between these two alternatives. Why? Well, I mean, we give one point uh, and two points to the second ranked alternative. So X is going to receive one point from A and, and two points from agent B. So one plus two, three points. Y is going to get two points from agent A's ranking and one point from agent B's ranking, two plus one, three. So both uh, alternatives are going to receive three points. And hence, socially, they must be, uh, I mean, these two alternatives must be socially indifferent. All right, well, fine. Now, uh, consider another scenario. I mean, somehow, let's say, um, uh, 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 they, these agents repeat this uh, voting, all right? Um, and but this time uh, alternative Z Z kicks in. All right. So alternative Z does not has nothing to do with X and Y. All right. So alternative Z is completely irrelevant alternative, and it doesn't change the ranking of the alternatives. Let's suppose meaning agent A still ranks X to Y. All right. And it happens that uh, she thinks Z is the worst alternative, all right? But nevertheless, A still thinks X is better than Y. And X is first best, Y is second best, all right? For agent B, however, <clears throat> agent uh, B again thinks Y is better than X, all right? So Y is definitely better than X. However, Z happens to be better than X, all right? So again, 
uh, agent B does not change the ranking between Y and X, uh, but it just happens that Z, which is an irrelevant alternative, is just happens to be better than X. All right. When we do the board account, well, and then calculate the social ranking, what do we get? So here, X is going to get one point, and here it's going to get three points, so four points. Remember, one point, two point, three point from the third ranked. Uh, y is going to get two points from here, and then one point from here, so three points. And then Z is going to get three points from here, two points from here, so five points. So socially, therefore, uh, the least, uh, the smallest ranked, uh, I'm sorry, smallest uh, count, the alternative with the smallest board account is Y, because it's board account or point values is three. And then the second uh, highest is, is, uh, is, is, um, second lowest, I'm sorry, is X, and then the highest board account, alternative with the highest board account is Z. So therefore, socially, Y should be strictly better than X, and X should be strictly better than Z. So forget about Z for a moment. Um, here we say X and Y are socially indifferent, but here we say X and Y are not socially indifferent. Instead, Y is strictly preferred to X. And why is that? Well, because there is now one more alternative, which actually does not change the agent's preferences over X and Y. So in these two scenarios, both agents continue ranking X and Y exactly the same way. I mean, X is, if X is better than Y here, it is still better here. If Y is better than X here for B, it is still, I mean, not if, it is better. So agent B still thinks the same way, but all of a sudden, uh, socially we, sh we say Y is better than X, all right? So that's what we call, uh, uh, it violates, violates uh, a condition called IIA, or the independence, independence of irrelevant alternatives, all right? Here, the irrelevant alternative is Z. Irrelevant in the sense that it doesn't change the ranking between X and Y. Despite that, it actually changes the social ranking of the alternatives X and Y. So, uh, kind of IIA is a nice property, right? I mean, whether we include alternative Z or not, shouldn't really change the social ranking between X and Y, but it does. And so uh, we actually want to find or, or work with uh, voting rules or uh, preference aggregations where uh, the IIA condition is not going to be violated. So the question is, can we come up with such rules? Um, so this is exactly what I will talk about in the next video. The arrow, can it arrow, uh, makes a formal statement, I mean a theorem, and he shows that, uh, well, let's keep the uh, theorem for the next video. Okay, I hope that was clear.